So if you have an iPhone, I'm sure you have a lot of bulky files in here. So like pictures, videos, also like contacts, text. You wanna be able to manage it on your PC. So you wanna be able to plug this into your computer, download all your files very easily. Or if you have like a, a digital camera, you wanna upload high resolution files onto here. There's a program called Dear Mob iPhone Manager. It allows you to seamlessly transfer files, all kinds of formats from your phone to your computer and vice versa. Also, if you're a data recovery technician like myself, you wanna be able to extract files from a phone that you just fixed. This is a tool you might be interested in. And make sure you guys stick around for the whole video because I'm gonna be telling you about the Dear Mob giveaway. They're gonna be giving away an iPhone 13. So hi, I'm Jesse from VCC Board Repairs. Thanks a lot for joining us here on the channel. Make sure you smash that like button if you like these type of videos, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends who have iPhones. Also, I do want to give a shout out to Dear Mob for sponsoring this video. So let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. All right, so the first thing you want to do is plug in your phone to the computer. If you get a pop-up saying to trust it, you want to make sure you trust it. And it might ask for a pin code if you have one. So if you don't have a working phone, this will not work. You have to have it functional. You have to trust it. This is kind of what we do as data recovery specialists. We fix the board, get it to turn on. We get it to have touch and image so we can unlock it and then trust it to the computer. Once you do that, then you can start managing your files using the Dear Mob software, which you can see here. So the first thing I would do is download the software, which I will link down below. Once you got it downloaded and installed, uh, you want to go to settings. You can change the language if you want. Uh, first thing I recommend is set up your folders. So it does generate some generic folders. If you're just doing this for personal use, you can just use the default folders. If you're doing this for data recovery, if you're like a technician, then create a folder for these jobs. And then essentially you'll have to uh, change the folder each time you have a different phone uh, that you're working on. Because otherwise it'll just dump all the files into the same folder and then you mix up customer data. So if there is a suggestion for the Dear Mob software for technicians, it'd be great if this folder function was in each category so you could change it on the spot. All right, so here you can see it's detected my phone, iPhone 7 Plus, I tell you the storage and some other stuff. So the most common feature that we're gonna use is the photo feature. So let's go through that process. So by default, it actually comes like this. It'll show you the pictures in your camera roll and basically categorized by day, which you could change here. So if you wanna categorize by month or by year or none, so if you want to see all of them, you want to select none. If you want to change the size of the preview of the pictures, you want to click through here. And let's say I want to download all these files to my computer. So either I can select all or just individually pick the ones I want. Like that. Right. And then I want to export them. So export, this is going to go to the folder that I set up in the settings page. So I can just click export. And there you go. And now I have a folder here with the files. You can see it's pretty quick, although these are technically small files because they're from my Seek camera. If I do this, select all, and then export. There you go, it has everything. Now it doesn't export photos from iCloud. So as you can see here, I got a message. So this bottom one down here is an iCloud picture. So that doesn't work. Oh, but that's true with pretty much any software. Also, you can create albums here as well. Now, if you want to upload photos, so let's say you have a digital camera and you took some really nice photos, you want to add them to your phone. So you have the high res images on your phone. It's really easy as well. Click the plus here. You want to type in a name. Let's say my Sony a7 Pix, right? I've created the album and then you'll see this button is now available to click, click add photo. And then I have a folder here that I've set up where I have some files I want to upload to my phone. So select the mock, click open. Now you're not done yet. This is just setting it up. It's telling you, you know, these are ready to upload to your phone in order to 
actually upload it, you have to click this sync button down here. So here at the bottom, you'll see basically kind of what you have queued up. I'm gonna add six. Uh, I'm not deleting any photos from my camera roll. So if I click sync, that's the software now uploading it to my phone. And they're completed. Now to show you guys proof that it worked is I go to photos and there it goes. You can see the photos. So I have my dog, Rosie, my Seek thermal camera with the phone sorted. Uh, here's a seven or 13 Pro Max with the crack CPU. And then my dog, my car. So now let's say I don't want those pictures on my phone anymore. Same process, just uh, select all, click delete photos, click sync here at the bottom. So here you can see it says delete five. So I'm gonna delete these five photos from my phone, click sync. Look at that. It has now deleted those photos from my phone. And if I go, close all that, go back here, they're no longer here. So it's really that easy to transfer files back and forth. Let's just go through um, as well. Also, you could browse through the different uh, albums and such, but. So let's go back and check out some of the other functions. So another thing you can do is videos. For videos, you do have to go to the home video category here, click add. I'm gonna add this video I have, click sync is now uploading it to the phone and they're complete. Now for videos, you have to go to Apple TV and go to library and go to home videos to see it. And then you can watch it here. Here's an iPad Pro that doesn't turn on. So let's see what the issue is so we can fix it. Also, if you have a lot of music that you want to transfer to your phones, let's say you have a bunch of MP3s that you don't want to worry about the internet connection using like Spotify, uh, you can do it on here as well. So you click, go to the music category, click add music. I'm gonna add this song. I'm gonna sync it. Once it's synced, I could play it locally here on this phone without having to worry about internet. So let's go there, go to songs, click play. And there you have it. So some other features you wanna check out, especially if you're doing data recovery, uh, it does give you the option to backup within the software. You can enable backup encryption. So you set a password. So if you only want, if you don't want anyone access your backups, put a password on it. Uh, if you want to restore from a backup, you can do that in here as well. You can see I have two backup files there. Um, another useful for data recovery is contacts and text messages. For contacts, you do have to turn off iCloud syncing. So you go to settings on the phone, go to your account, scroll down to iCloud, and then you wanna scroll down to contacts, turn that off, keep on my iPhone. And then you wanna also, if we're gonna do messages, which is here, disable and download messages. Let's do that. All right, so now that we disable the syncing, we can click okay and try it again. And now you can see it will scan and read the contacts that are saved on this phone. And one of the things about this is for data recovery, you can export this into a uh, very useful file. So you can pick individually, or you can just select the letter and select whatever, or just select all of them. Click the little arrow here where it says export and you can see all the different formats. So you wanna do PDF. Here's what the PDF file looks like. If you wanna do, uh, you know, text file, VCF is the file format that you can easily import into any contact system. So like an Android phone, you wanna import it into your Gmail, into whatever, you know, the VCF is the format to easily import into any, you know, third party app. Uh, also text messages is a little trickier. Now it does ask you for um, to back up the phone first and then you can read through them. But you can see here, it's very easy to see the text messages. We can select all exports. And now the text messages are like this in PDF files. And then 
you can read them in a PDF. And this is all done while the phone is connected to the computer. So uh, except for the text messages, everything else you can do while the phone's powered on and extract the data. Um, whereas other software, you have to run a backup first and then extract it. So it has to scan and everything. So sometimes that takes longer versus just manually doing it, uh, you know, through the software in real time. Now for the part you've all been waiting for is the giveaway. So if you want to win an iPhone 13, make sure you guys check out the link down below in the description. So this is their campaign page. So if you want to buy the software outright, it is $29.95 right now. So you save big on their retail price. The, the license allows you to load it onto two different computers and allows you to use as many iPhones as you want. So if you're doing data recovery like myself, plug in any iPhone to it, it'll work. You won't have any limitations like some other software out there. Now, if you do want a free license, you do have to enter the contest and they will email you a free license code. So to do that, you do have to install the software first and then you do have to answer this puzzle here, basically, where here on the main screen of the software, what order are these icons? So make your selection, type in your email and get your free license. And lastly, if you do have any technical issues with their software, their support team is very quick to respond. They do have a 24 hour response time. So if you go here on the bottom right, click about, here at the bottom, click send feedback. What you'll see is this pop-up uh, that came up that has a log file. You could attach that to your email and then describe your issue and they will help you out. I did have a few uh, questions and issues that I reached out to and they're really quick to respond and very helpful. So there you have it, the Dear Mob iPhone Manager software. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope you'll be transferring your phone data to your computer very soon because it's very important to back up your phone. If you have a new phone and you just want to upload some files to the new phone that you backed up from your old phone, you can also do that as well. So appreciate all you guys sticking around here till the end. Make sure you get your free license down below by entering a contest. Maybe win your iPhone 13. That'd be amazing if one of my viewers wins that iPhone 13. So let me know down below in the comments what you guys thought. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with all your friends who uses iPhones. So appreciate all you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.